Hi everyone, so today I have a great book haul to share with you, which I'm really excited about. I had a wonderful birthday last week with my mum and my dad, who was visiting from New York. We had great family time together and it was wonderful to show him around Yorkshire. But of course I got some wonderful books for my birthday too. Books is always what I ask for, for my birthday. So. My mum had a lovely stack for me and my dad bought me some books in a bookshop in Yorkshire, which was so much fun. So I wanted to share my birthday book haul with you, as well as a few books that I picked up in bookshops in Yorkshire when I was traveling around a bit with my dad. Before I dive into my book haul today though, I did just want to share a couple of things. The first one is that the Comfort Book Club discussion of persuasion will go up on my YouTube channel next Friday, the 28th of October. So if you want to contribute a voice message for that discussion, then please do so by Wednesday, the 26th of October. I'll put a link in the description box about how to contribute a voice message for those who want to but don't know how to. So. I'm really excited to discuss persuasion next week and thank you to those who have sent in voice messages already. And then the other thing I wanted to share with you is I'm really excited to say that I'm going to be doing an event with Persephone Books in Bath on the 1st of December. So you will probably recognise the beautiful Persephone Books, these grey bound books with the lovely end papers. I worked for Persephone Books in my mid-twenties and I'm a big fan of their books and I was so excited to be asked to do a talk there. So I'm going to be in conversation with a former Persephone colleague of mine, Clara Jones, who now lectures in English at King's College London. And she is going to be asking me questions about my favorite Persephone books, about books and social media, my experiences YouTubing about books as well as podcasting and writing and Instagramming. And I think we'll just be talking a lot about books generally too. So I'm really excited for that event. It's happening on the 1st of December, Persephone Books in Bath at four o'clock and there's homemade cake and tea. Of course, mum will be there too and she and I will both be hanging around after the talk to hopefully meet some of you for anyone who lives in or around Bath and can get there on that day for this in-person event. I would love to see you then, hopefully. For those who get the Persephone by annual that goes out twice a year, the latest one is out and the event with me is announced on the back here. But it's also on the website. If you want to book a ticket, tickets are £10, then you can phone or email the shop. I'll put a link to the details in the description box as well. But I'm so excited. I think it'll be such a fun talk. It'll be great to see Clara and also any of you who are able to come. That would just be amazing. So I'm so excited about that. But let's get on to the book haul now. So my mum was so sweet actually because when I got back from Croatia, she had some early birthday presents ready for me because she knew the following week, which was my actual birthday, I would be really busy because I had a lot of work on that week and I was getting ready for my dad coming. So my actual birthday day was really quite hectic. So it was really sweet of her to sort of think ahead and she actually had arranged this little surprise for me when I got back from Croatia with some early birthday presents, which was really lovely. And of course she got me books. So this one had been on my wish list. This is Marple, 12 new stories, 12 great writers, one Agatha Christie. And this is a collection of short stories by 12 contemporary writers who have written a new Miss Marple story each. I love the Miss Marple books. I mean, I adore Agatha Christie's mysteries generally, but Miss Marple is my favorite detective. So I've been really excited about reading this. I can't wait to dive into it. It's the perfect sort of cozy, mysterious read for coming up to Halloween. So 
I definitely want to start this soon. I was so excited to get it. And the authors are really good. Um, people like Ellie Griffiths, who I love, and Lucy Foley, whose books I like a lot too, Kate Moss, Ruth Ware, lots of different people contributed to this. So I can't wait to read all the stories and see which one I like best. <laughs> and then this one had also been on my wish list. My mum got it for me and that's The Three Dahlias by Katie Watson. This sounded like a really fun mystery in the sort of cosy crime type genre. Uh, it's a sort of country house mystery and it says three rival actresses team up to solve a murder at the stately home of Lettuce Davenport, the author whose sleuthing creation of the 1930s, Dahlia Lively, had made, had made each of them famous to a new generation. And then a murder happens and these three competing actresses have to sort of try and solve it. It just sounds really fun. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. I've heard good things about it and I really like the sound of the premise. It's set right at the end of the summer, just at the end of August, but I think I'm still going to read it now because I love cozy crime during the autumn and winter seasons. So I'm looking forward to getting to this one. And then another book that had been on my wish list is The Windsor Diaries, 1940-45, by Alethea Fitzalan Howard. And this is the di diaries of a young woman who got to know the late Queen very well and her sister when they were all young women together. So it's quite a personal account of the royal family in that time of their lives and it's meant to be a really good read. So this is one I've been wanting to read for ages but it's just not one I've ever kind of bought, I've like picked it up and then put it back. So it was really lovely of mum to get this one for me and I'm really looking forward to diving into it. And then another one that mum found which I thought was very clever of her is this book, Winters in the World, A Journey Through the Anglo-Saxon Year by Eleanor Parker. This sounds just my cup of tea. It says, Winters in the World is a beautifully observed journey through the cycle of the year in Anglo-Saxon England, exploring the festivals, customs and traditions linked to the different seasons. Many of the festivals we celebrate in Britain today have their roots in the Anglo-Saxon period and this book traces their surprising history as well as unearthing traditions now long forgotten. And it starts out sort of in the winter but then goes all through the year. But this will be a great read to start soon. I'm really excited about diving into this. As you know, I love books that go all through the year and I'm very interested in Old English customs and traditions and festivals and the idea of the rituals that go through the year and how so many from Anglo-Saxon times are still celebrated today. So I think this sounds such an interesting read and I can't wait to start it. And then a friend sent me this book, which I was really excited to get because I thought it sounded so interesting and that's Femina, A New History of the Middle Ages Through the Women Written Out of It by Janina Ramirez. I hope I've pronounced that correctly, apologies if not. And this just looks so interesting as well. I'm getting more into reading sort of non-fiction history books and this just sounds really fascinating. It says, the Middle Ages is seen as a bloodthirsty time of Vikings, saints and kings, a patriarchal society which oppressed and excluded women. But when we dig a little deeper into the truth, we can see that the Dark Ages were anything but. So this sounds like another fascinating read and I'm really looking forward to getting to it. And then one other present from my mum was this one. Heaven on Earth, The Lives and Legacies of the World's Greatest Cathedrals by Emma J. Wells. And this is just such 
a work of art, this book. I mean, such an interesting topic. Mum and I always love going into churches and cathedrals together, so I know she's going to enjoy this book as well. Definitely going to have to lend it to her. But what's really special about it is all of the colour photographs and illustrations that go all through it. I think that's just stunning, really special to have a book with so many colour illustrations and photographs and it just looks very, very interesting. So I was really thrilled to get that as well. And then two art books, which one of them was a surprise and the other had been on my wish list. So this one was the surprise and I'm so thrilled with it. It's called Suzanne Cooper, Paintings Under the Spare Room Bed. And this is about a forgotten female artist who had extraordinary talent, but she really put her role as a wife, a mother, ahead of her own artwork. And she very much treated her art as a secondary thing, even though uh, she did paint for money to a certain extent. She did sell some paintings and she also sold artwork for advertisements and things like that. But a lot of her artwork, Suzanne Cooper just stored under her bed and she's since sort of been rediscovered. And I can't wait to read more about her. This is a bit of a biography of her as well as exploring her art. And I think that it's just really stunning. She was so talented. Hopefully you can see that. And I, I'm always so interested in British female artists and this just looks like a wonderful book to dive into. Very, very me, so mum found this one for me and I think it was such a clever gift. So I can't wait to read this one. And then this one had been on my wish list. That's Paul Nash in Pictures, Landscape and Dream. So I was really thrilled my man managed to track down a copy of this one. I've got a few in this sort of series of art books, um, some Edward Borden and Eric Covillius ones. And I've been wanting this Paul Nash one. So I was so thrilled to get this as well for my birthday. I mean, I love art books like this. So I was really, really thrilled. And then when my dad was here, we went to some bookshops together. We went back to the Stripey Badger bookshop in Grassington. I filmed going to that bookshop one Christmas. And so if you remember that video, you'll remember how charming that bookshop was. And Grassington is the town where they filmed Darabi in the new All Creatures Great and Small series. So it was really fun to take him there. We went into the Stripey Badgers and I bought a book for myself and then my dad bought some books for me too, which was very sweet. So he bought me this birds and anthology book because he said he wanted to buy me a really like beautiful book with lovely artworks. He knows how much I love books like that. So we found this one and it had a matching notebook as well, which was really charming. So this nice little lined notebook came with it and it's got lovely illustrations through it too. So I can't wait to use that. So beautiful. And then this is an anthology of writing and poetry all about birds, which looks so good. I've already started dipping into this and it's just really lovely. Um, again, it goes sort of all through the seasons and it has wonderful illustrations in it as well. So it's a real work of art, this one. And picked up this lovely little bookmark in the bookshop too. See the robin, very appropriate for this anthology, so I just slipped it in there. But yes, yeah, so I was so thrilled to get this. This is published by the Bodleian Library and it's got a beautiful sort of cloth bound cover, so it's lovely to hold as well. And then my dad also got me this book, the new Natalie Haynes book, Stone Blind Medusa's Story. I can't wait to read this. I think Natalie Haynes is such a great writer. And this was a special independent bookshop edition, which I'd really been wanting because I love the gorgeous sprayed edges on it. And it's also 
signed by her, which is very special too. And it came with a little bookmark, <laughs> which I always like. So this tells the story of Medusa very much from Medusa's perspective. I think it will be very, very interesting. So I was really thrilled to get this and it's just so gorgeous. We're so thrilled to get this special edition. And then I picked up a book for myself as well, another independent bookshop edition. Whenever I go to independent bookshops, what I will really look for are the special independent bookshop editions because it just makes sense to be able to get lovely editions of new books in these bookshops and to be able to support independent bookshops that way. So I'm always on the lookout for the independent bookshop editions. And I love Kate Atkinson. I think she's such a good writer. So I've been wanting her new novel, which is Shrines of Gaiety. And I can't wait to read it. It is signed by her as well, which was so nice to get. And it's got the blue sprayed edges. This one sounds really interesting. It's set in the interwar years, which is very much the time period I'm very interested in. And it says, 1926 and in a country still recovering from the Great War, London has become the focus for a delirious new nightlife. In the clubs of Soho, peers of the realm rub shoulders with starlets, foreign dignitaries, with gangsters and girls sell dances for a shilling a time. It just sounds like it will be quite an exciting, gripping, page-turning sort of read and just transport you to the bright young things of London in the 1920s. So that sounds like a really fun read to me. I can't wait to dive into this one. And then, so those were sort of my birthday gifts and a little gift to me um, from myself at the end there. But then I also got some books from some secondhand bookshops. So we went to York and we went to the York Minster Bookshop and Fosgate Books, which are two of my favourite secondhand bookshops in York. And I also discovered a really wonderful treasure trove of secondhand books because we went to Bingham Rocks, which is part of the National Trust. And you can do some lovely walks on the Yorkshire Moors and look at these incredible rock formations, which are really very special. But so we took my dad there, we went for a lovely walk, and then we discovered in the visitor information center, sort of right at the top of these rocks on the moors, there was this amazing secondhand bookshop. So I said, only, only mum and I could find a secondhand bookshop in literally the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but we did, and we did really well. I'll show you what we got. So I picked up an old Penguin edition of Flowers for Mrs. Harris by Paul Gallico. I already have a, a new edition of this book and an edition in the hardback, but I just really love that old penguin cover. I think there's a real charm to that. So it was very cheap, so I couldn't resist picking it up. And then um, a couple puffins. I got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory because I don't actually own a copy of this book anymore. And again, I just love the old puffin cover. And another puffin, The Starlight Barking by Dodie Smith. I was really thrilled to pick up both of those. And then I found this old Virago of a May Sinclair book, The Three Sisters. I was so pleased to find this because it's a novel that's very much based on the Brontes. So I'm very, very keen to read this. It sounds so interesting. And of course, being in Bronte territory in Yorkshire, I'm really excited to read this book, which is set in a fictionalized Haworth. So I really was thrilled to pick this up and I'm very intrigued by it. I hope I'll enjoy it. And then I also got this book, I admit, purely for the cover and the title. It's called Autumn Fires by Ruby M. Ayres. And you can see it does look quite autumnal. I think it will be some kind of romance. I think it, there might even be two novellas in here. Um, I couldn't remember when I... Yes, two complete novels of romance in one book. So it's like two little romance novellas. I have no idea what they'll be like. I mean, I'm not 
I don't have really high expectations, I have to admit, I've got no idea what this will really be like. I think it was originally published in 1951, I don't know. But the cover charmed me, so did the title, and the look of this one, it reminds me of, well I think it's the same as the sort of O. Douglas republished ones um, that came out in this series with this sort of yellow border on the cover so I thought it was worth picking up and giving a try and then in the bookshops in York I found two more Virago books so I found this Charlotte M Young The Clever Woman of the Family and a Dorothy Canfield book Her Son's Wife it was actually Persephone Books that introduced me to Dorothy Canfield or Dorothy Canfield Fisher which she's also published under and she's an amazing but really sadly forgotten American author and I so recommend her books. Persephone have republished The Homemaker by her as well as The Deepening Stream and I really want to read more of her books so I was really thrilled to pick up a Virago one and I'm always on the lookout for Charlotte M. Young books too, so I was really thrilled to get this one. And then finally, let me just get these. I got this book, which I was so thrilled to find, a hardback edition of The Little Book Room by Eleanor Fargen, illustrated by Edward Ardison. And I have a paperback of this book, but it was so wonderful to find the old hardcover, I love the illustration, illustrations in this and it's just a really charming collection of Eleanor Fargen's short stories for children uh, which were chosen by herself so really really thrilled with that. And then I got a really reasonable copy of this Folio Society edition of Aikenfield by Ronald Blythe. So, I have a paperback of this but it's not very attractive so I was really thrilled to get this folio edition for $8.99 which was really reasonable and it's got some lovely illustrations oh, in this one as well and it, I really like folio books, I like actually reading them, they're just a real pleasure to read so I was very pleased to get his classic book in this beautiful edition. So that's my book haul <laughs> for today. I feel so lucky to have got some really lovely books for my birthday. I can't wait to read all of these and I thought it was fun to just share the little secondhand book haul that I got with you as well. But let me know if any of these books in particular appeal to you or if you've read any of them yourselves yet, I'd love to know. But thank you so much for watching. I am going to try to film a little extra video next week, so look out for that um, on Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not quite sure when it will go up yet, but I am going to try and film a little extra video. So do have a look for that. And as I said before, I'll put all of the links in the description box. But thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe from, to my channel by clicking my face that pops up over here. But I hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead and I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye.